All right, guys, say so, uh, I'm David Galloway, and uh, today I'm going to do an in the bag. Uh, first off, I want to uh, say that I throw with the, uh, the AX15 bag by Grip Equipment. Pretty awesome. I carry a lot of discs, and um, it holds them all, and then also I do. Uh, first off, I'm going to start with uh, the putting putters. Uh, MVP uh, is what I throw, and uh, I've switched over to the Electron Soft anodes. Uh, they have a really good grip. Uh, especially in these conditions, they can get really cold in South Carolina and really hot as well. Um, so these putters do an extremely great job of um, grabbing onto the chains. Uh, the grip is really tacky. I really like it because I do a lot of spin putts and uh, it just goes straight for me. It's a point and shoot putter. The anode just fits my, my grip much better than any other putter and uh, just slides really straight for me. So I carry four in the bag. Uh, all, uh, I rotate uh, through this, through these putters, just so that they can stay fresh a little bit longer. Uh, because it is electron soft, it kind of does get warped a little bit, but um, I think it makes it to fly a little bit straighter for me anyway. So those are my four putters. Next, I'm going on with the uh, my putters that I use for upshots and basically mid-range duties, um, if you will. I carry a 175-gram uh, Plasma Envy. Uh, I love the tacky feel of the Plasma. It, it does really well, especially in these conditions, like I mentioned before. Um, you can really crank on it. It's gonna hold the line. Uh, Anheuser, uh, Heiser, whatever, it fl uh, flies really straight for me as well. Um, and I can really throw this pretty far as well. Uh, next is a uh, Proton MV. Uh, this is probably the most overstable MV, I would say. I like the Proton Plastic. Again, I would typically save this just for a sidearm upshot duties. It can handle a lot of torque. Um, sometimes I do backhands, but this is usually just a forehand putter upshot type deal, type of putter for me. And then the Soft MV. Um, this is actually 160 gram Envy and uh, the reason why I throw this soft lightweight Envy is because I can really manipulate lines in the woods which is typically a lot or the majority of our courses here in South Carolina is really tight wooded courses and I can really throw it on an Anheuser and it'll kind of flip to, to flat and then finish at the fade really well. Um, or I can throw it on a hard Anheuser and it'll pop and it'll just go straight for miles. Uh, so I really love these Envy's. Great, great disc by Axiom, uh, which is the sister company of uh, MVP. Uh, next are my mid ranges. I carry two molds. Uh, these molds are going to be start with the understable ones. Uh, these are theories. I carry the watermelon theory just because it's the proton plastic, and to me. Uh, it's a little bit more stable than the Neutron or the, uh, the Plasma as well. Uh, I carry max weight, uh, 180 right here, and um, I, can, I can flick it. It will uh, flip up to straight and then ride with a little bit of turn at the end. Um, I can throw this on a, a nice hyzer in the woods and it'll flip straight and it'll just go for, uh, for a long time with accuracy. And of course, this is my most seasoned theory. It's Neutron. Uh, it's kind of like you know, for Innova people, this is kind of like the star plastic, uh, but for to me, this is like a, a very dependable disc. Next is the the Matrix. Um, this is a regular stamp Matrix. I just uh, kind of took it off here. I like the, the sparkle, the green in it, and this is like a workhorse. I, I would compare this almost like a Rock 3, if you want to go by in, Innova standards here. But um, I think it's what the Rock 3 should be. Uh, it, it really can hold my torque in my forehand, backhand, it can, it'll just ride straight with that dependable fade at the end. Forehand, same thing, it'll, it'll fly straight for a while and then it'll fade to the, to the right. Uh, so, uh, this is the limited edition No Chains Matrix. Um, this is the, the very first Matrix I've ever bought. Um, it was amazing and uh, it pretty much now has been beat and weathered in, so it really flies straight with minimal fade at the end. Um, so these discs do, you know, when they beat in, it just takes a long time to really beat in any MVP, and they hold their flight characteristics for quite some time. 
Uh, so this will be my straight shooter if um, if I still want that fade instead of the theory, which will you know definitely go straight to the right. Uh, and this one will pop up and ride straight and finish a little bit left, which is perfect for some of the wood shots out here in South Carolina. Um, next, let's move on to fairways. Um, I bag two molds in my fairway drivers. Uh, first, let's go more understable, per se. Um, I would say the Vault is probably the biggest workhorse in these wooded courses for me. Um, I can do a, a, an array of shots, really. So let's go from understable to most stable Vault that I have. First off, I go with a Fission Vault here. Really is awesome because uh, this is 166 gram bolt and this sucker will pop up flat and just ride straight. If I forehand, which I have a little bit more torque in behind it, it can actually pop up on a hyzer release, pop up and kind of turn to the left, but always will finish right. You just gotta give it enough room. Um, but with the, the type of courses that I play, you know, it's perfect for the woods. Um, Next is the Eclipse Proton Volt. It's uh, 171 grams, uh, really stiff, I love it. It's uh, a good wooded shot. When I get a little bit more beat in, it's going to just fly straight forever. Uh, right now, it, it's, it'll ride straight, and then it will fade, uh, fade off to the left, backhand. And then now the Neutron 175 Max Weight um, Volt. Neutron plastic, it's uh, really good to uh, really ride straight, and then again, heavy, heavy dump. Heavy, heavy dump at the end. Most overstable uh, fairway driver that I have is the Proton Resistor. To me, I find this is a comparable to a end of a Firebird, but just way better. Um, you can really kind of just really put a lot of power behind it, backhand as well, forehand as well, and it will hold that torque and power and it will, it will always fade, it will always, always fade. It never turns, it will just always dump at the end as max weight as well. Going on to utility drivers, really, um, I carry two different molds. Uh, one's a really overstable disc and one's a very understable disc. Uh, let's start off with under and then we'll go over. Um, Impulse, uh, really the newest addition to my bag. Uh, I typically like to throw stable to overstable discs. Uh, the way that the MVP flight patterns really stays true to the description of actually how they fly versus uh, number ratings. And uh, this one is the understable version and uh, it's a max weight because of how understable it is. I can throw this flat, it'll go, if I throw this flat, it'll turn over to a roller. If I flick it flat, it's gonna turn over and go into a roller. If I put this on a massive hyzer, um, it will flip up and ride straight. It will, um, and it won't go off the line. It will stay on that frozen rope for a long time. And again, super helpful in these wooded courses uh, that I throw in and um, it just does a, a lot of work for me. Um, next is the overstable version or uh, the overstable utility disc. It's called the Motion. Uh, I carry a 170 gram Neutron Motion fantastic utility driver for me. I really don't use this unless I have to do a roller. Um, it's getting beat in now that I can, it's getting gummy and I can really torque on it with a backhand and it'll do a, a good flight pattern. But if I do anything, it's a sidearm, Anheuser Flex, or if I want to do anything, I'm going to go for the roller and this will carry uh, quite, quite a long way. Now let's move on to the, um, let's go on to a, distance driver. This is a new mold uh, from Streamline Discs, uh, one of the other companies of MVP, as you know, guys. Uh, but here is the single mold. And I, I would compare this almost to a flight pattern of, of, an ra of a Wraith. Um, it's, it's very controllable. I can put a lot of power into it. It's going to, it's going to turn, but it's always going to have a little bit of fade at the end. It does really a really great job. Um, I'm still still trying to figure out where it belongs in my bag, and um, as far as what I do, but I do use it, and it's just a great overall disc for me. It's in neutron plastic, as you can tell. Um, moving on to my most used dr distance driver. Let's go understable to stable here. 
I carry uh, five of them. And uh, this is a Fission 158 gram photon. The very first MVP disc I ever bought. Really got me hooked on MVP. Um, when I threw it, I was throwing a lot of destroyers. And when I picked this up, uh, it just flew amazing. I uh, really can't describe it any other way. Uh, it, this one, when I first started off, was very overstable, and then as it, you know, as I progressed, my arm strength got a little bit better, my speed got a little bit better, and now this thing is, it'll get a good turn, but it'll always fight back. Even at 158 grams, guys, I mean, it'll still come back regardless of, uh, of that. And it, it's a good sidearm disc, effortless distance with the sidearm. I can hyzer flip it, it'll go straight, then fade at the end. Um, this other photon is a little heavier of the Vision Plastics, 167 gram, um, and this one is my straight shooter. Uh, whatever line I put it on, it's going to hold, and it's going to keep that one, even regardless of the if it's heavier or not. It's got a little bit of a dome of it of the Vision Plastic, um, but you know I can really crank on this one, and if I throw it flat, it's going to stay flat, and it's going to ride flat, and it's going to drop. Um, if I put an anhyzer on it, it'll do a nice sweeping motion, and if I put a hyzer on it, it'll pop up, ride straight, and then come uh, come in for the fade. Uh, very dependable disc, and I use it for even headwind, headwinds as well. Here comes the most um, seasoned Neutron Photon. This is uh, really the most dependable distance driver that I have, and uh, really it's been well seasoned, so I can put it on a easy 400 foot uh, flick or just a good 420 backhand just going crazy uh, it does a really good hyzer shot I can go on an anhyzer but it'll always come out and then even if I throw it just nice and flat it'll ride flat and then just fade to the left um, this is a newer uh, neutron photon I really don't get to throw this much because of the other one that I mentioned it's, uh, it's 166 gram like the green one. Uh, it's just uh, a backup, really. I want to beat this in, this one in as well, but uh, it'll get to that point eventually when this one is uh, loses its drive, but I'll still probably keep it in there regardless. And then the most overstable one is a 175 uh, plasma photon. Uh, they say the plasma is a little bit more understable, but in the max weight, I find that MVP really does a really good job of you know, keeping true to the flight characteristics, of, uh, regardless of the weight or anything like that. So I, I carry a max weight one uh, just because if I really want to have a headwind shot and I know it's going to fade, um, I'll bring this one out you know, for the next disc I'm about to talk about. Uh, so this is a great disc. It doesn't get to see a lot of action, but um, if I need something really stable, I'll bring this one out just in case uh, heavy, heavy headwinds. But if um, if I really want to crank down on something, I'll go with the the octane. Uh, they say it's a it's a stable, understable disc, uh, but I'm finding it as a better destroyer. Okay, um, I would compare these uh, the photons as a destroyer great disc. But this one is, you know, like that, you can really crank down on it. Um, it still fits my hand very well, high speed disc. And uh, I can really get to crank in on this one and it'll go a nice hyzer flip, ride straight for a while, and then it'll fade. Um, or I can do a massive anhyzer turnover and it'll still come out of it and fade. And I can throw this probably about four, 440 to 470, no problem. Uh, it's just that great of a great of a disc, and I do lightweight discs. This is 166 gram octane, and it has a little bit of a pop top, so it gets a little extra glide on it. But it overall does some amazing things. So, um, guys, and that's in my bag. I hope you enjoy it.